What's up, my faithful minions? This is Master Maniac, and I am back for another episode of Age of Engineering, where I'm taking fall damage for no discernible reason. Uh, last episode, we basically just set up a bunch of miscellaneous automation. Speaking of miscellaneous automation, oh, these bees don't like me. Uh, speaking of miscellaneous automation, though, I might as well take these and dump them in here so they get centrifuged. Um, between episodes, I did a bunch of stuff basically preparing for auto-crafting fusion cells. Um, me, being the dumb, I've, I've got this set up making tungsten dust, and I had it originally doing the endstone recipe on demand. Come to find out, I can just chuck this stuff into an immersive engineering grinder and get the tungsten dust from that. I can get helium and stuff from here. Wait a minute, is that not auto extracting? No, it's not. Okay. Well, either way, I can get all of those things. So tungsten's easy to get. Basically, the only thing I'm waiting on, which I did some breeding for, is the ICB to produce an ice shard so that we can get the hot tungsten steel so that we can do the whole thing with the blast furnace and and get hot tungsten steel so that we can then cool the tungsten steel. Let's check on this bee. <gasps> That's all I need. You can stop working now. You only need one of these for like the entire pack which is awesome. So let's go ahead and get back to the base and make ourselves a vacuum freezer. Boop. Uh, still did not relocate all my RF tools teleporty stuff. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, why are you still not taking away my fall damage? That's ridiculous. Uh, let's get, like, nine stacks of that. That ought to be enough, right? And we'll just chuck them into there. And then eventually we'll dump them in the arc furnace, but we'll worry about that in, in a little bit. Uh, what was I wanting? The vacuum freezer. So, how do I make this? I need advanced circuits, steel plates, and extractors. So, we get two extractors, and this I need steel plates times four. Eh, close enough. Thank you. And you take 64 EU and you are medium tier. So that means that I can get a solar panel of the hybrid variety. By the way, Oh yeah, I'm still gaining on uranium. Awesome. Wow, that quick, huh? Fantastic. So then I need the... Blast Furnace from Tech Reborn, which takes two electric furnaces, some cooper nickel heating coils. How much of this do I already have? I have none of the heating coils. Wait. Did I already make... Oh, oh lord. Yeah, I definitely need to, to, to figure out teleporting. Yeah, I've already got the blast furnace. Good. So that means that the vacuum freezer can go, like, here. And it can go ahead and start filling up. This is making 120, or no, this is making 64. This consumes 64. 
So I should be able to take... Let's say a stack of tungsten and a stack of steel. And it should start working. Awesome. Or it would start working if I wasn't the dumb. Let's try this instead. Why did that give me an electric alloy furnace? That's not right. <sighs> I broke it with a wrench. It was supposed to give me back... Uh, that seems like a bug to me. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do that. There we go. So vacuum freezer and this. We'll go ahead and turn that off. Awesome. So this should be producing hot tungsten steel and dark ashes. That doesn't hurt to wield. Why are you losing power? I fail to understand. You shouldn't be losing power either. Tell you what, let me make some more solar panels and I'll I'll be back with you guys. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and one of the next things I'm going to need... So basically we're working on crafting the fusion coils, right? So I've already got advanced machine casings on autocraft. At least they should be. Um, the energy flow circuits, that's not a problem. I can go ahead and make those. These neutron reflectors are what I need. And they need a beryllium cell each. And that is 16 empty cells plus 16 enderpearl dust makes all of these. So. We'll go ahead and craft up a bunch of those. And we'll tell this pattern terminal that 16 of these and 16 of these equals a uh, whatever. We'll just pop back over here. I was hoping I could cheese it if I already had one in the system, but I do not. So this. You should take these guys and you should produce, forget the endstone dust, that is not necessary anymore since I already know how to make tungsten. I don't think I'll need helium for anything else. Right, it's not in this, it's in the electrolyzer. So I need an ender chest And some cyan dye. Thank you. That'll do. So chest here and die, die. You should, oh no. How about all three? That's fine. Need some conduit. And while I'm at it, go ahead and take one of those and the other one. No, still no. Still waiting on that because I've got the uh, I've got the thing tied up. That's fine. the hell over here there we go
So, you are going to extract and always active. You're going to insert and extract. You're going to extract on brown, always active. You're going to be like right here. You're going to insert on brown. So I should be able to chuck these two in here. And that will go and get me beryllium cells. Or a beryllium cell. By the way, some stuff that I did between episodes. You'll notice here that I have a great big solar panel. This is tier 4. Um, the, the miners back at the base I upgraded to tier 4. I added the, a couple of these machines over here, of course. Um, I also... Oh, that's already done. I also went to... Where am I going? Went to Miranda and set up a better mob farm. So right over here, I can dial to Miranda. Oh, there's... XP out here. Uh, it took three of these grinders to actually kill all the mobs. But as you can see, everything's getting teleported. There's a bunch of cursed earth that all pushes through into this teleporter. I mean, there's there's some doom, gloom, and destruction going on here. Um, I was pretty proud of myself. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have to worry about setting up any other mob farms for, like, the rest of the game. Uh, desert dial. There we go. So now if we come down here... Nope, not to this one. Beryllium. There we go. So I can do that. I also need another interface. There we go. Oop, got a little bit hung up there. So we'll stick that, and we'll stick this, and he will be cyan. And he will get this pattern. Good. Good, good, good. So I can craft beryllium cells. Oh no, I don't know how to make any of the neutron reflectors. Beryllium. Oh my god, these are going to be so expensive. Alright, well... I guess let me get some of these let me let me get the neutron reflector programmed in there and uh, I'll I'll be right back all right ladies and gentlemen so I've got the iridium neutron reflector on autocraft you should know how to make a beryllium cell Did I just never add that to the thing? It was downstairs. It was over here. Yeah, that creates one beryllium cell. Why is that not registering? I fail to comprende. Is that offline? Zero of eight channels? Two of eight channels. Two of eight. Zero of eight. Weird. Unless this thing's getting overloaded, which it shouldn't be. It's 
So that's two of eight channels. I don't understand. Now it says that there are no channels on here? Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. So what, is this guy just not wanting to give channels? Or is he out of channels? Is that the problem? Oh, Lord. Uh, let me fix this AE mess, and I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's try this again. Neutron Reflector. Go ahead and start that. And then for Fusion Coil, I need Energy Flow Circuits. No. You stop that. Energy flow circuit, like that, and you take an iridium reinforced plate, good, and I know how to auto craft all of those. So we'll stick that there. And then, for fusion coils, I need the superconductors, which take regular tungsten ingots. That's what I needed helium for. Okay. So, regular helium cell plus 10 equals that. And I can go ahead and do that. Now just dump this guy here. Superconductors also take tungsten in ingots and radium reinforced plates and energy flow circuits. So let's get some of those. Hopefully. Be nice. Made the Lapatron crystals pretty quick. There we go. And that's four superconductors. Whatever. Um scroll down in here and deposit this so let's see how close we are to making this fusion coil we should be making an iridium neutron reflector Got one sc oh, because it's making all the beryllium. Yeah, that's going to be the slowest part of all this, unfortunately. Okay, I'll be back when these are done. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have a fusion coil recipe, which should be able to go now. Like, literally anywhere. So, if I were to re request nine of those. Yarp, that's uh, a lot of stuff. I ought to be able to start it 
and just watch this thing go. So with the nichrome heating coils, uh, those have to be crafted manually, basically. So I threw enough materials in to get like two stacks out of it, um, which is fine. It's actually no big deal. Excuse me? How many of those is it going to take? A stack of beryllium cells. That's only going to take like 8,000 years. And this dude's currently going. This dude's going. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Okay. Well, while that's crafting, let's look at the fusion crafting injectors and what else we'll need, this stands out to me. Because it's going to be a problem. How much stuff are gas tears used for? I mean, they're used for these. Which kind of sucks. You know what? I should make a gas spawner. That should be the final part of this episode. So give me a moment, let me go get some spawner shards and a spawner changer, and I'll be right back. Actually, before we head out, there is a thing that I want to make. A couple of things that's actually going to make this a lot easier. As soon as this dude crafts... Uh, it's the enriched alloys that's going to hold it up, I think. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll wait for that to be free, and I'll be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and I'm going to need this dislocator. And I'm going to need a... One of this... Already got a bunch of draconium, that's nice. So this is a much better magnet than what I was carrying before. I also want to get the bow of the wyvern. Now what's that going to cost to make? An energy core, a wyvern core... Four. There we go. That shouldn't be too terrible to craft. So then let's get a bow regular old bow will do, for whatever reason. Bow of the Wyvern. Where are my cores? Any day now. You gotta wait for the refined obsidian. Alright then, once again I will be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and I should be able to make one of these now. Good. So it's not per not particularly great, but I should be able to put infinity on it now, if I can remember where the hell my... Here it is. So I need a... Book and Quill. Here we go. And then I need to come in here and figure out how I get infinity. What do I get? Feather falling, respiration. Hmm. 
efficiency, silk touch, unbreaking, mending, fortune, power. Of course it's going to be like the last thing on here in Ender Pearl. So, get an Ender Pearl, and we'll open this dude up. Give them those, and then this and this should be able to work. And I believe, yeah, good. So Infinity still works with this guy just fine. Uh, I need to go downstairs, come up to this guy, and charge this up should only take a moment and then I'm gonna go hunt down some gas so I will be right back change of plans <laughs> gas hunting is boring I want nothing to do with it so I'm just gonna do this instead by the way take my levels that should auto extract when it's done I'm also going to need a powered spawner. That is for shulkers. Why do I have a shulk? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. So if I want to make one of these, I need two vibrant crystals and a Z logic. still not done? You are now. So these two in an anvil that should hopefully be enough. Sixteen. <laughs> oh, excuse me. is sneezy in here today. Good. So I have a powered spawner. Now I need a... Transceiver. That's what it's called. Uh, all of those are available. Good. I need to set up the second atomic reassembly thing. Oh my god, this is taking forever. On the outside, it should be able to make all of this pretty easily. So I need the Staff of Traveling. I need a... Teleportation Core. Actually, I'm going to need two. I'm going to need a dislocator. And a dislocator receptacle. With a core. Which shouldn't be too terribly difficult to craft. There we go. And then I'm going to need some obsidian. Good, 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 good. Let's get to the roof of the nether. Actually, I do that over here now. Still not used to that. Dial once.
So I'm very well aware that using a powered spawner, or using a restored spawner, typically doesn't work well with gas. I'm hoping that a powered spawner will work better. Uh, so I'm going to need some netherrack. And a wand. So. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Spawner will go... Here, I guess. Yeah, and then the ring can go on top of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. So... That's how far out they can spawn. Gas are 5x5 five five entities, so we'll just go out 3 on each side. I'm going to need more obsidian than what I've got, but it's fine. It's no big deal. I'm going to need to take this dislocator, bind it, and pop out of here. And I should be able to start working on this. one too far. Oh no, whatever will I do? Probably break it with this thing. Okay, so I need some more draconium infused obsidian. Just get like a stack. That'll do. Come out one more. I can take the dislocator receptacle and let's go ahead and get an octatic I don't even remember why I have so many of those right this thing is gonna need power so, one of these. You're going to receive from power out. Good. You're not ready to start spawning yet. That is correct. That should be the case. Let's go ahead and get some glass, that'll do, just to cover this obsidian with. And then assuming that I am a genius, which is <laughs> highly unlikely, but assuming that I am a genius, this should be, like, the greatest thing ever. Usually, I swear by Restored Spawners. They have, they have never, ever led me astray, except in this one very niche circumstance. Uh, glass. I need Moon Moss piece of glass. Please and thank you. So 
I should be able to do that. And then... I should be able to turn you to always active. And hopefully you'll actually spawn. Yep. There we go. And they're dying. Fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted to see. What are you slow on? You are slow on your plant material. Oh no. Luckily, you're just about done. So let's look at stars. Nice. Probably drop another stack in there when I'm done. Um, let's look at, what was I going to look at? Oh yeah, fantastic. Good. So I'm definitely getting gas tears out of this. It means that things are pretty great. It means I'm not going to have to worry about these guys, like, ever, ever, ever. So let's head back to the base. And before we call it, desert dial, before we call it, I'm going to go ahead and start some stuff auto crafting so we can get those fusion injectors going. I'm going to need nine of those. Ta-da! Does it say 16 million RF a piece? Should be going right up here. Fantastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we've got some good stuff going on here. We've got fusion coils, which all they really take is time. Um, but we've got fusion coils. That's awesome. We've got Inori Crystals, we're farming gas tiers. I'm actually very happy with myself with this episode. We made a lot of progress. And that means next episode we can get a little further into Draconic Evolution. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, sub down below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.